I do apologize for that long segment, but let's go ahead and take a look at the camera. This is something that we can't really use with the second gen iPod Touch because it doesn't have a camera. So we will set this off to the side, and let's go to the fourth gen iPod Touch and take a look at this camera. Here we go. We are currently in movie mode. Let's actually go to picture mode, and that is what the camera looks like. It looks exactly like the camera app on the iPhone does. Um, if you look down here, you have a shutter release button down there in the very middle. Off to the right here will take you into your photo library. And that is a screenshot for an uh, app review I made recently. Um, and over here is uh, where, you get, where you go to change from movie mode or, um, to picture mode and vice versa. Up here is what you use to switch between the different cameras. So let's go ahead and take a quick picture real quickly of you guys. We'll do a direct comparison shot here. Now, if you actually want to take your, a self-portrait self of yourself with the back camera, a little tip for you. Have your button, have your finger already on the shutter button, because it won't take the picture until you take your finger off. All right, let's see if we can do this. Ready, steady. That probably didn't turn out good at all. Okay, let's try that one more time because the camera moved a lot. So, have uh, finger already on shutter release button and go. Okay, and that was that. And now let's go ahead and take a look at the front camera. So we push this button here and it'll switch and that is the front camera for you guys as you can see you can see me and you can see the camera alright let's go ahead and take a photo of the camera it probably will not have the same aspect ratio so now you also notice the photo is mirrored the, ca the picture on the screen right now is mirrored but when you take a picture with this camera or a video the iOS will automatically mirror the image. In other words, it will make it so that way it looks normal. You'll see what I mean. Because you'll notice that the Canon logo is backwards. If I can show you, you see the Canon logo is backwards there. When in reality, it's uh, doing that just to make it easier to take a picture. But when you take the picture, it will automatically reverse that, as you'll soon see here. Now the Canon logo is the right way. Okay, now in terms of the way videos look, I will do a quick de demonstration for you guys. Hello to all my lovely viewers. Well, unfortunately, uh, the iPod Touch 4th Generation records .mov files, which for some ridiculous reason isn't supported by Windows Movie Maker. So therefore, I am unable to show you what this looks like. So, in order to justify this, I have presented you with a lovely drawing of a sad face who feels the same way I feel about Windows. So, if you want to know what this looks like, what these file, what these videos look like, <sighs> actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to upload them to this channel, but they're going to be unlisted, and you'll have to click on the annotations to watch them. I do apologize, guys. I hate to disappoint... But cursed Windows Movie Maker, well, is cursed. It is cursed. Okay, let's get back to the video. Okay, so what can we take a look at next? Oh, let's take a look at the microphone. I'm going to do my standard microphone tests. In other words, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a one test that is freakishly up close. Then I'm going to do another test from a distance that would be reasonable to me actually just using it. Um, and then I will do a sort of arm's length test, and then I will do an across the room test. So, let's go ahead and do this. So, the first test I'm going to do is going to be freakishly up close. Alright, I've got this at this angle, so you guys can see the, the, prox the proximity between this iPod and my face. So, this would be like some sort of a preschooler using it to record their voice, if you know what I mean. So, let's do this. Really close test. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. And there you go. And I'm also going to actually do one like this, because the microphone is located on the back of the iPod, so I'm also going to do one like this. Really close test with my mouth facing the microphone. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Alright, we're not going to give away any spoilers. Okay, um, 
That's going to be the only time I do that, though. The other times I'm just going to have it normal. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a standard distance test. So let's see if I can back you guys up a little bit so maybe you guys can see that. The proximity between the, my face and the microphone. This will be just a standard distance test. I hope you guys can see this. I'm just holding it at tradition, normal distance, and let's do this. Normal distance. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Oh, I keep hitting the wrong button. Okay, and now we're going to do an arm's length test. So, let me back you guys up even further. Yeah, I don't think this will actually be proper field of view, but you'll still know. I'm doing this at arm's length, so here we go. Arm's length test. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. I hit the right button. And now we're going to do an across the room test. This would be something like if you're in a class or something and you want to record notes, okay? And luckily this iPod Touch could be used for that because unlike the Nintendo DSi, it doesn't ha it doesn't limit its um, recordings to 10 seconds. You can record a clip as long or as short as you want. So let's go ahead and do that. Back to quickly. Now, if you actually wanted to do a recording of a class or something, um, I, myself, would do it like this. So that's going to be the way we're going to do it, alright? So, let's go ahead and do that. So, uh, I'm going to push the record button, set it face down, then I'm going to go over there and record. So here we go. Across the room. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Let's go back. And that's that. So, let's also do one from right here, just because, you know, um, these boxes might have been a variable. Across the room, test two. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Okay, that should be that. Uh, stop. Alright, I will prepare these and then I will play them back for you guys. Okay, so I've got the microphone tests all prepared up and labeled. Unfortunately for you guys, Windows Movie Maker does not support this audio file type. So, um... I'm not going to be able to put it in the video so that all you guys can hear for yourselves. So this is going to be the next best thing I can do. If I can figure out a way though to put these into a separate file or something, or maybe I can publish them to my blog so that way you guys can listen to them for yourselves through your own headphones so that way you can get the full quality, um, then I will figure that out. So this is going to be the best for now, so let's do it. First of all, it's a really close test, and we're not going to do it this close to the camera's microphone, don't worry. It's a really close test. Let's play it. Really close test. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. This is at full volume also. Alright, so that was that one. Let's listen to it with... Let's listen to the really close test with the microphone facing me. Really close test with my mouth facing the microphone. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. That really doesn't sound good. Let's listen to a normal distance. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Let's listen to the arm's length. Arm's length test. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. And let's do the across the room take one, which is where I had it behind me, the boxes. Across the room. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Let's do take two. Across the room test two. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. So, what I can conclude from that, actually the microphone I have to say I was not, uh, this is really the first time I've ever done this test, and um, I actually wasn't too impressed by the sound quality from the first few tests, but when I did the across the room, I was actually surprised at the clarity in that. I mean, it didn't really sound that different, and I mean, you guys saw, I was really way across the room. I don't know how long that is, maybe... I mean, it's not the longest room in the world, but, you know, it's it still picked it up pretty well. I was actually really, really impressed by that. So, let's listen to that again. Take one of the across-the-room test. Across the room. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. 
Now let's compare that to the normal distance. Normal distance. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. They're both as clear. In fact, some... across the room. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. The only th real difference I can think, I mean, it's, I can hear it just as loud and just as clear. The only thing I can think of, though, the only difference is that there is a bit of an echo in the long, in the across the room test. But really impressive microphone. Um, although I w do have to say I'm not too impressed by the cl um, by the closer proximities. But yeah, and of course you would never have it that close, to, like you know, super duper close to your face when you're actually recording. So, but that was just there to you know little kid recording. They like to keep microphones really freezely close to their face. So, yeah, but, you know, generally you'd hold about this far, and that's that. So, that is the microphone. Is there really anything else I can go through? Well, not really. I th well, actually, yeah, let's go ahead and show you one more really freakishly cool feature on this. You might have heard some people on YouTube talking about this thing's gyroscope. And you might be wondering what the freaking heck that is. Let me show you what that is. So, I'm going to go into here. This app that I'm about to show you is a free download. Uh, at least it was when I... Yeah, it's free. Um, Gyrorama Lite. Gyrorama Lite. This only works on the iPhone 4 and the iPod Touch 2nd... Or, pfft, iPhone 4 and iPod Touch 4th generation. So, let's go and click on Gyro Album. And let's move the camera a bit this way because I need a full 360 view. Let me move this laptop out of the way because it has a name tag on it. Okay, I'm just gonna click the first one and we're gonna go. This freaks a lot of people out. All right, here we go, get ready. People love this thing. This is just absolutely super cool. Let's go ahead and get you guys nice and straight real quick. There you guys go. Now, this is what the gyro gyroscope does. Ready? Okay, watch. You see, you kind of see what it's doing already. Um, this is pretty hard to do like this, but you guys can see what it is doing. It's like, that's exactly what the gyroscope does. It's like, yeah, let me see if we can do a better test of this. Alright, so as you guys can see, oh wow, it's blue. I apologize for the blue, but as you guys can see, that is exactly what the gyroscope does. I really do apologize. This is not the tallest tripod in the world, but you guys can get the general idea. It looks pretty cool. Um, it allows you to move, it allows, it allows the iPod Touch to detect 3D space, so I can go this way, this way, this way, this way, or this way, this way. And as you saw, we were just doing a panning, panning around this panorama here, so, yeah, that's what the gyroscope is. So, there you guys go, now you know what that is, and what it does.